All right, here is my Dollar Tree from yesterday. Um, once a month or twice a month, depending on my money situation, I try to go and slowly build up, slowly build up. Plus, I have different things at different times. This, of course, it being Dollar Tree, everything was a dollar and a quarter each. This is $32.56 total. And I will go over what I got. I went ahead and just got two more of the emergency candles. I'm shocked they're still there. I will be getting some more because I try to always leave some for others. But here's the six emergency candles. I can't even get those at Walmart. I got one little pack of the 20 tea lights. They are small. But these can be used for lighting or, believe it or not, for cooking. And I bought an extra. Everyone needs some of these. I don't always like the cheapest ones like this, but it will you'll be proud to have it one day. So a can opener. I got three just cutting knives. Because I, even though I, my plans are never to bug out, sometimes the best laid plans don't work. Because if a flood happens or a hurricane or tornado takes my home, guess what? I'm bugging out if I'm still allowed to do so. So I will use almost all of this in some to-go grab-and-go cans or bags. I got them ladle for cooking here is six spoons, the larger ones for a dollar and a quarter. Here's six of the smaller spoons for a dollar and a quarter. Six of the forks for a dollar and a quarter. Um, I got some of these because whether I'm here at the house or someone's on the road, you need to try to clean up a little bit, you know. Hopefully people have water. And no, this is not prepper, although... I do put cookies, and I may do this, in uh, glass jars and vacuum seal them to use for some, when you're just, you need a variety in your food. So that may be to do that. And I grabbed another Holy Bible, the red letter edition of the King James Bible, for a dollar and a quarter. You do you. I realize we're not all the same. I get it. And, um... I got some toothpaste. Here is six of the, this is the medium toothbrushes. And a lot of whenever I buy stuff like this, it's to give away. I do use it, obviously, my th myself, thank goodness. But I also buy these to have to give away. But I did buy these for possibly a to-go to put in it. And these are the um, covers on there. For that and just miscellaneous with my skin issues and with certain things whether you believe it or not in the atmosphere or in our foods and our cleaning supplies there's anti-itch cream i got two more triple antibiotic cream and while i was there they still had plenty of seeds all of these are heirlooms surprisingly there's cucumber Lettuce, spinach, kale, um, bean, let's see, bean garden, contender bush, whatever, carrots. The only thing that wasn't heirloom was this radishes. I'm not sure why that was, but four for a dollar, so 25 cent each. Now, I'm going to move that and I did go to the thrift store first and let's see sorry guys hopefully I've got it aimed at the right spot and in some ways I probably should have done Dollar Tree first however I'm very proud everything in here was seven dollars total and now I'll show you piece by piece what I got. And a lot of this will be um, probably going to put it in to go things. This is a very nice, very heavy duty 
strainer. I need it at the house, but there again, if I ever need to be out, I may put it in a look to go thing. And I think this was a quarter a piece, but at a certain point, he just rounded this up. I got some of these to help whenever I'm cooking outdoors. I'll put it in a to-go bag. Here's two different knives, and what I liked about them is they come in their own little sheath. I will put them in a grab-and-go camping or cooking situation. There's that size, and then there's this size. I'm showing that right. And I got a few more utensils before I realized that I could get them for just as cheap or cheaper at the Dollar Tree. These are probably going to be better, but they were a dollar or a quarter a piece. And this is a really good heavy duty can opener, bottle opener, punch, can punch. And then I saw this yesterday at the, at, um, thrift store and I asked him how much it, it was it's a complete bite and sting first aid kit mosquitoes snakes wasps and bees never been opened and I thought hmm that's interesting it was two dollars it comes in its own little plastic kit for two dollars it's worth it to me it comes with a suction pump which can safely and quickly remove significant Quantities of venom or irritants from bites and stings. I'm not sure what else it has, but I don't care. I would have bought it anyway. So that's for $2. And then this is a very heavy-duty metal cook pot. Very heavy-duty. About the size of a wok, which may be way larger than I need were I to be in a bug-out situation. But I like it because it is solid metal. This could cook on. I might could even put a couple things in here um, and cook. So I just wanted this. I'm very pleased that was $2. So anyway, there's all of that. I love thinking outside the box, and I recommend that each of us do that as well. And just get prepared. Slowly but surely. Don't let this overpower you and you think I can't do this this is too much just do what you can do start where you can yard sales are a very good source um, estate sales marketplace on Facebook for those of y'all that don't despise Facebook um, even Craigslist thrift stores there's all kinds of places that you can find this stuff and it not be very expensive because like I said I got all of these used things here for seven dollars I thought it was a really good deal <clears throat> all right scripture alert this is Romans 5 I'm gonna start in verse 1 therefore being justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ by whom also we have access by faith into his grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also. And I know I have a hard time with that too. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience. So there is a reason for anything we go through. And patience, experience. And experience, hope. And hope maketh not a shame. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Listen. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure, or perhaps, for a good man some would even dare to die. But God demonstrates or commendeth his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us so what makes this so important with the testing and the tribulations no one really is going to choose this but you strengthen in the same way that you sign up for the military for example and then you go to 
uh, training, you know, and physical training and a boot camp. Well, you kind of do that as a Christian too. And faith boot camp strengthens you where you thought you couldn't make it through this you will find out that you can and with each of that it strengthens so it is ultimately for our own good i don't like to be tested but once the test is over i probably thought i couldn't do so and so but the test shows me i really can with you i can do it lord thank you y'all god bless get prepared in whatever way you deem necessary i know some people almost glorify as if it's a game the bug out every it bug out this bug out that when all of, all of us can bug out nor are we smart enough to bug out i am not trained to live outdoors and live off the land yes i can hunt i can fish but i don't consider myself to be an ex an expert in foraging I just don't know so don't act like it's glamorous I'm not budging until I have to but that day of have to may come be as prepared as you can and as I say repeatedly for those that like to come on and say I'm just going to trust God if God is telling you to do that then please do it please always 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 follow what you think the Lord is telling you to do. But I will say, like I will continue to say, some of us are being told to do certain things, whether it's even for us and our loved ones or not, it will help someone else. And I'm okay with that. I'm already praying for the people that may get all of this stuff that I feel like the Lord is having me prepare for in the same way that I'm liking to share information with someone that may not know I'm not doing it for grins and giggles I feel like the Lord is telling me to do this so each of us follow your heart follow your gut or in my case or a Christian's case follow what the Lord says if the Lord says don't worry about it Joe or Susie or Karen I've got you covered where you're going, I've got you covered already. Then follow that and trust it and believe it. Follow and trust the Lord. Love you guys. Take care, but be prepared. Slowly but surely, don't get overwhelmed. It'll be okay, especially if you're a believer. Love you. Bye.